Hi there. We are back today to build on our foundation of traditional marketing, your grandma's marketing, and we're going to do what I is, I think is the fun part. This is the exciting part. This is unconventional marketing. This is what is going to set you apart from the sea of other businesses going after your very demographic. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is unconventional marketing? Picture it. That is unconventional marketing. Nothing grabs attention like the art of surprise. So now what do I do when the buyer is calling to me? I expect it. I plan for it. Those are the building blocks that are going to grab their attention. They're going to make them remember you. Have your firm foundation. Know it inside out. It's second nature. It's a part of you and it's a part of your business. And it's easy because it's done correctly from the start. And then you stack on top of it the fun parts. You can get a little weird. You can get out there and you can surprise people with what you show them. So the fun part of marketing is also the hard part of marketing. Because once you find something unconventional that works, it's no longer unconventional. It becomes a part of your foundation. And it becomes a part of your normal routine when you are going through the motions of what works, of what you're going to do next season, of what you're going to do next quarter or next year. That stuff works. You're going to do it again, but it's not going to have the same impact on the same demographic. So when you have a technique that you take the world by storm, you have to be ready to change it. So always be ready to adjust who you're targeting, how you're targeting them, where you're finding them, what you're doing. Always be ready to adjust so that it becomes a new unconventional technique for a new class. You can change who it's after, where you find them, what you're doing. You can change the colors. You can change the wording. You can adjust things a little bit until you hit on something and then it becomes foundational. That's a good thing. That's not a bad thing because you're going to go through some unconventional marketing that are bust. That's just part of it. Um, but that, that means you're putting yourself out there. So nothing's completely a bust. Uh, but some things will have a higher return and a higher impact than others. Consider McDonald's. They've changed their logo. They've updated they, their logo. But they've managed to maintain consistency so that it's still recognizable. That is a feat. That, that is an art. That's something that's hard to do. It seems so easy to us as a consumer. But it's a hard thing to do for a brand. They had this logo that is very much a part of them. And when they adjust it a little bit, it causes some uproar. It's still recognizable. It's still very much a part of them. They're not changing their brand, they're updating it. And that's how you have to spin things to be more palatable by our consumers. So over the next few weeks, we're gonna go over some tangible deliverables that you can bring into your business and make a part of your business and surprise your clients. It brings back the old clients and it brings in some new clients. The strongest base we have are people who've already come to us, who've already trusted us. The only exception to that is when we do a big brand overhaul or prices change significantly. Still, those people are going to trust us a little more than they're going to trust someone else. Current clients or past clients are a great way to practice presenting new information. So you can feed off of them, they're, they're trusted, you know them, you can read each other. And that's a good way to see how the new techniques are going to compare with what they're already used to. Whether or not that affects how you change your marketing is whether or not you are adjusting your brand along with your marketing. So I look forward to getting into the nitty gritty of unconventional marketing. This is my jam. This is the fun part. And I can't wait to see your ideas. And I'm going to show you some of my weird ideas from over the years, some stuff that's worked, some stuff that hasn't, and how I have spun the stuff that hasn't worked into a new idea going forward. Um, we are going to go through this together.
I look forward to it. Make sure you subscribe so you see when a new video comes on and let me know in the comments what's working for you, what's not, and I'll help you adjust going forward. Thanks guys.